this video, Mr. Matt Fonslow is going to take us through the Consolab EM200-14 uh, coil-on-plug system trainer. So he actually found a additional thing you can do with this particular training aid uh, that you can use for training on another subsystem of the vehicle uh, that maybe was something people would not have thought of originally. So anyhow, we're going to go ahead and uh, launch right into the video and uh, Matt's going to show you what this can do. Greetings everyone at Console Lab. Uh, Matt Fonslow. You guys let me use this at Vision KC la this year actually uh, for a key cutting class and programming class and it worked out really really well. It's the uh, EM200-14-052789 uh, coil on plug ignition system trainer. It's a, um, I believe, 2005 Honda Civic. And what is really neat about this is we have the mobilizer system essentially. Here is a programmed key. When I put the key in, it might be hard to see. Uh, maybe flip some lights off here. Watch when I turn the key to uh, run. The mobilizer light comes on for a couple seconds and goes out like you would expect. So this is just like a car. And then the next thing is, is the spark plugs are firing. We took this key and duplicated it. Uh, and then we're going to take that key. And right now it's just an empty shell, just for demonstra uh, demonstration purposes. But I'm going to use this unprogrammed key or a key that doesn't have a transponder in it or a bad transponder. I'm going to turn that same key to run. My immobilizer comes on, immobilizer light comes on, and then starts flashing, just like a car. And then you will also notice on this system, I have no spark. Maybe that happens on the car for sure, more than likely. Typically when we think of uh, a mobilizer not learned, either we get a no crank, no start. Cranks start, um, but doesn't start, or starts, runs, and dies. But definitely we have an immobilizer light that flashes. Go back here to the programmed key, and all's happy again. Probably set some DTCs in there. Now, the next portion that I think makes this a very interesting um, tool for uh, training purposes is let me assemble this key with the transponder chip in there and this is not programmed so I'll show that here again lights gonna come on go out and start flashing no in, uh, no spark plugs firing so for fun and turn that to run I have the Top Done Ninja connected, the immobilizer tool. Uh, an excellent choice, A. It's very capable on domestic Asian vehicles. Also, the price point is makes it very reasonable for pretty much any shop to own, uh, or in that rare case, or the unfortunate case, it's the price point's good enough for maybe a technician to come up with the money to buy one. So, <clears throat> we've uh, built the vehicle in here. And we're going to go to key. And by built the vehicle, honestly, it pretty much identifies it. Pulls the VIN, identifies the immobilizer system. I mean, really, I don't want to make this just a commercial on the top done, but th it does that. So it's not hard to connect. We're going to add a key because I already have um, a programmed key here. So it's asking me to insert the registered key. So we'll take out this unregistered key, insert it. Turn it to on, hit OK. Can you see the screen fairly decent? OK. It's now telling me to turn the ignition off within 15 seconds. Now turn the ignition on using the registered key again within 17 seconds. Pretty odd numbers, but turn the key off within 15 seconds again. Insert the new key. So if you can see the immobilizer light, what'll start happening here. Now it wants me to turn off. You can see it's flashing rapidly. Turn the ignition on. Same key. Turn the key off. Turn the key on. And now you can already hear the spark plugs are firing. The immobilizer went off. 
we have successfully added a key to the system. If this was used in a classroom environment or like at Vision where we had a bunch of uh, technicians or attendees lined up to program keys, eventually we top out. I'm trying to remember. I probably should have looked it up first. I, I want to say it's 12 keys. But pretty soon you max out. You can't add any more keys. So then we can do something called all keys lost. Again, the tool pretty much holds your hand throughout it. It blows all the keys out of memory, and then you can add a key or two back. And so you can just keep using it and using it and using it and showing people how easy it is to use a key programmer. Uh, at, at the class at Vision, we showed how easy it is to cut keys, duplicate keys, uh, cut by bidding. Um, I talked to Donnie Seifert. Uh, he's going to help me get a key code so we can show people how to cut by key code. Uh, which is something they would do using a VSP number uh, or LSID, however you guys want to uh, talk about that. Usually it's a VSP, Vehicle, Surf and vehicle Security Professional uh, Identification or um, uh, Credential. Uh, but yeah, it, essentially this is a phenomenal, phenomenal trainer for this type of thing. I don't know if there's other ones that are not just Honda, uh, other car lines. Uh, if they have the immobilizer systems, I think this is another um, way to present these to colleges or uh, trainers. Maybe even t uh, companies like Top Done or Xtool or Autel, where they're going to put on classes with their tools, be it to cut or program or both. Uh, this becomes a very powerful tool, I feel. Mm -hmm.